So a few years ago, TC, or managing editor, built a gaming desktop, but it's kind of out of date and it's definitely not gonna hold up for Battlefield 5. So let's build a new one. Okay, how'd I get a Steve Urkel to build a computer? Man, he does not age at all. Must be an Asian Chinese secret. Speed up your rig with the Toshiba OCZ TR200 SSD. Experience ultra-fast performance packaged in a slim 2.5-inch form factor using 64-layer 3D NAND flash memory. Now available in 240, 480, and 960 gig capacities. Click on the link below for more info. Okay, I know I'm not the best PC builder, you know, but Kyle teach me many things, and i come a wrong way. So today, I take a look at this video from The Verge how we built $2,000 gaming PC. And I watch the video and give my two cents, right, Jay? So here we go. Let's see what they have installed. You can build a gaming desktop for around $1,000, but I want to go all out, so I spent around $2,000. PC like this is going to be able to play- He spent a $2,000, no. He spent a $2,000 on the Verge credit card. He don't have $2,000. Most Look at that cheap shit, settings. not even Rui so, Vuitton. What do you need to build a desktop? Well, of course, first you need a table. Preferably oh, not- you need a table to build a PC! I thought you could build it in mid-air! Go build in the sky, maybe, on the crowd! If it's gonna be metal, have an anti-static working surface layered on top of it, a thermal paste applicator, an Allen wrench, some tweezers to tie up the wires, a Swiss- Wait, did, did he just call those tweezers? Did he just call those tweezers? That's a zip tie. How, how in God's name is my English better than his? What the tweezer? That's for the eyebrow with the pee pee. What the? A Swiss Army knife, which hopefully has a Phillips head screwdriver in it. And Wait, a, a, a Swiss Army knife that hopefully you hope it has screwdriver. What's he saying? All you need to build a PC is an Allen wrench and a hope. No, that's a stupid, dumb, stupid idea. Get the real screwdriver. You should ditch Aaron and get with Fira. And last but not least, an anti-static bracelet, which is to protect you and the parts. These are the parts you're gonna need, but more- Hold on, hold on. He doesn't even connect it to the ground. How the- What? It's not a wireless wristband, that's a rib strong bracelet. He not fighting static, he fighting cancer. Some notes about installing motherboards, they're really delicate, you should be really careful with them. And screw in with confidence, but also don't screw in too hard, otherwise you Screw in with confidence, I like his style. Pay close attention to the brace that goes at the back of the computer. You always have to make sure that- The brace! That's not a brace, brace for your arm, for your teeth. That's an IO shield. His English so bad, so bad English. It's pretty fast RAM, it's 2,666 megahertz, I believe. That's so not it's that pretty fast. Fa I can run at 3,200 megahertz. So once you hear that solid clasp and you don't see the gold connectors on the side anymore, that's when you know the RAM is in. Step three, we're going to install- Hold on! He installed the memory incorrect! It, they side by side, they should be spaced out for that motherboard! I look at the manual, that's the wrong way! Speaking of the memory, I wish I could erase this one. I chose this format of solid state drive so that I could input it into the motherboard without having to worry about extra wires or putting it in a separate part of the case and just getting really messy. That's true. You don't want another thing that you can mess up. And you're going to line this bracket with the back end bracket of your PC So case. many brackets. Bracket now, everywhere. which lane bracket you and choose. Braces. So all you have to do is take the brick and make sure that you align it with these little insulating pads so the power supply doesn't short circuit and come into contact with the rest of the system. What? So what? <laughs> Insulation pad! Those are vibration pads so the power supply doesn't rattle around, make a lot of noise. It's not going to shock you! Plus you have your rib strong bracelet on me. <laughs> you don't have to worry. Oh my god, if Kyra were here right now, he would shit his pants. Slide it in nice and easy until you have a snug fit. And then no, don't do that! Back. You're going to shock sure and short circuit the power supply in case! Always be sure to try to play- Hold on! Hold on a one second here. Go back! Always be sure to try Wait. Try oh, to- it. Look at that! You can tell there's no fan installed on the radiator! He just mount the radiator before the fan! The fan cannot go on top of the case! This case does not support it that way! How he gonna mount the fan radiator? I don't know! Then again, how am I even surprised at this point? But in this case, no pun intended, it fits <laughs> in perfectly. 
So there's nothing special about this screwing in process. They're just really long screws because they go through the entire frame of the cooler. <laughs> he used the wrong, wrong screw. He should use the small one. Those wrong screw for when you have the fan on the same side. He going to drill holes into the heat sink of the radiator. Oh my goodness. My family in China who made this product cringing so hard right now. And they take forever. Yeah, they take forever because you get up. In this case, you need to match those cables with the correct descriptions on the power supply. Typically, you want to put the cables in the power supply first. Some cases, very difficult to put it in after the fact. He got lucky he has a nice case. We're installing the CPU, <gasps> the oh, heart of the computer or the brain, depending on how you look at it. So to do to this, break we're it. just going to remove the plastic covering that they put on the motherboard. We're just going to take this little plastic part out. Don't break just it. Toss that out of here. Don't throw that away. That's and important. Now you might we need have that an exposed CPU holder, or rather slot. <laughs> CPU holder or slot. It's called a socket, my friend. You don't put it in the sock. You put something else in the strap, but not a CPU. That's for the socket. And we're going to use the CPU applicator. This is a special little part that not everyone may get, but this motherboard that we got from ASUS definitely does have. It's called Who a the CPU hell installation uses that? tool. It makes it really useful if you want to install a Core i7 hexacore CPU. Yeah, we've got one, and it's an eighth generation chip. Yeah, and we it got one. Super exclusive. You can only buy it on every major retailer in the world. So what having this little installer does for you is it's basically a brace that you can apply Again with the braces. Right he to the he rubbed his braces. Pass what if you don't have it, the applicator? How you install? You follow this guy, you have no idea how to so install CPU. To apply, so we're about to apply thermal paste to the CPU. Oh god, I Every can't CPU work. cooler actually comes with a bit of thermal paste already neatly applied in a circle around it. But it's usually not enough. It's good, essentially, PC building practice to have a little bit extra no. and layer it on top oh, of the no. CPU. Oh my god, what he do? It's a CPU. You're not icing a cake. Okay, it looked like a stop sign. Oh my god. He used the whole tube or what? So you're going to see that there are four... Oh, ra Jesus. Oh my god. It looked like a Jackson Pollock painting. Oh my god. physically come in contact with it, like basically keep it cool. Take thumb screws like this and just screw them on. So now that our internals are done, we're gonna put all the panels back on, which is the top glass, side glass, front glass, and of course the back panel where all oh, this thank God is done. Priest no so more. fully built the PC. Oh my everything God. Was put together. Hold on, and we got go back to that cable management. This we fully built the PC. What the f is that? You have such a good case. Your cable management broke like a spaghetti! Everything's put together, and we got to the post screen. So what's next? That's amazing! Well, you That's USB the biggest flat. surprise of all! He got to the post screen! Ladies and gentlemen, round of applause! This has to be the worst PC building video of all time! And I should know, I wrote the book on how to not build a PC! Very scary! Someone who built a PC for the first time might think this is a good video to follow, and their PC explode! They don't know the video bad because they disable the like and dislike and the comment. So much censorship. Feel like I'm back in China. Please, if you make a tutorial, make sure you know how to do what you're trying to tell people to do. It's a simple concept. Why am I explaining? Jesus. Okay. I go now. I feel bad. I'm just in a bad mood. I'm going to drink. Drink my sorrow. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to Kyle's channel. Maybe I take over the channel someday. Who knows? You know? Stay sexy. Peace, motherfucker. Yeah. Let's break his refrigerator. Say so you steal all the beer.